OnePlus tips that we should live life in super slow-mo with the OnePlus 6. We get a video of what we should expect for the iPhone SE 2, or at least we think that's it, and new leaks of the LG G7 Think Q emerge along with features of the infamous notch. I'm Jaime Rivera, and this is the best part of the week. Uh, even if uh, I'll be working on the weekend, enjoy yours. This is Pocket Out Daily. The official news today don't begin with deals. Actually, it's the other way around as Amazon Prime is going to become more expensive very soon. Currently, I pay, as I am an avid Amazon Prime customer, 100 bucks a year. Uh, now it's gonna go up to 120 bucks a year, pretty much. Uh, it's still cheaper than going for the monthly rates. Is Amazon Prime worth it? Every penny, at least for me, but I don't know. In your case, it could be different. Now let's talk about the LG G7 ThinQ as uh, famous tipster Evan Blass is providing more information. Uh, first of all, the fact that the notch is there, but apparently LG is bringing in some interesting ways to hide it. Uh, I would say that it's totally unique. I hope it's better than the way Huawei does it with the P20 Pro, which is actually an inexistent solution. If anything, it only causes more trouble. You'll learn more about that in my review, but uh, let's see what we get with the G7. Now, how about if we have a bad news of the day segment, at least for today. Uh, KGI's Minshi Kuo just uh, brought some information regarding the internals of the next generation iPhones. And apparently Intel will be the supplier of 70% of the modems. Qualcomm will only make 30%. And bear with me here, it's not that I have anything against Intel, it's just Intel modems on iPhones provide terrible results. Bad reception, terrible battery life, uh, and so if anything, I would have preferred Qualcomm to be in charge of this. And uh, with Qualcomm being on top of everything that's 5G, it only means that the iPhone in 2018 will not be ready for any of that. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. And speaking of iPhones, there is a leaked video, or a video that shows a probably leaked iPhone SE 2. I will call it uh, fake, mainly because most of the rumors claim that the iPhone SE 2 will be slimmer. Uh, it won't have a headphone jack, uh, and apparently less bezels. And this phone pretty much just looks like a current iPhone SE, and somebody just put like a glass back on the back, or probably just the skin. Uh, it looks more like a skin to me, but uh, you let me know in the comments if you think this is real or fake. And finally, the most interesting news today have to do with OnePlus and the company's latest teaser for the OnePlus 6. According to the company, we should live our lives in super slow-mo. Uh, that won't work in New York City, by the way, OnePlus. Uh, but uh, true to that, obviously this means that we will bring super slow-mo technology. And hey, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 is capable, uh, and that's the chipset that's most likely coming here. So we are expecting this feature. Uh, but in today's question, let me know, I mean, regardless, you don't have super slow-mo on your phone right now. You probably do. Let us know in the comments, do you actually use that? Because uh, I'll give you an example. Like, I have it on the, you know, Galaxy S9 Plus and the Galaxy S9. It's cool, but the biggest problem is that it only lasts for a few seconds, so I honestly don't really use it. Uh, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch yesterday's Pocket Now Daily up here and our impressions of the Huawei P20 Pro from MIFA GPC down here. And also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.